Joining us now, Coin Stories podcast host and Bitcoin educator Natalie Brunel. Uh, so, Natalie, you know, we've seen a lot of bad PR, of course, for crypto of late. You had SBF get the guilty verdict. We saw Binance earlier this week uh, plead guilty to money laundering. But those are exchanges, right? That's not cryptocurrency. So I'm curious, what's your take on why we're seeing Bitcoin rise recently and where are the opportunities going forward? Sure. Well, thank you so much for having me. I, I think that Bitcoin is finally being recognized as a dominant global macro asset, an asset with no issuer, with absolute scarcity. And I think it's performing beautifully amid sort of the chaos of the other markets. Because look, in the last year, we've seen U.S. banking failures, the government running massive deficits and ballooning the debt, the bond market in turmoil. We had obviously the crypto actions that you mentioned that show that Bitcoin is very different and special. We're seeing legacy firms filing spot Bitcoin. Bitcoin ETF applications and legendary investors changing their tune. So a lot of tailwinds for Bitcoin over the last year. And I think people are just realizing that Bitcoin is not just the best way to store wealth over the long run, especially when you zoom out. But we have an opportunity now to have a form of money backed by energy that no one can control or manipulate with unlimited velocity and instant settlement without relying on credit. This is a system we can opt into based on value and ownership instead of theft through inflation. What about what happened at Binance, Natalie? Um, some are saying, you know, this is natural growing pains for the industry. Actually, it was good that the government cracked down. Um, you know, Binance didn't know its customers. That's a law. They need to, to know how they're using their funds and, and what they're using them for. They can't be used for nefarious activity. But still, that is one of the main reasons that there is an attraction to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. People love the fact that it's not supposed to be tracked. So how is that going to play into all of this if there are more crackdowns as we move forward? And basically, um, when you make Bitcoin transactions, you might, you know, it would be akin to making a transaction on your credit card. Every aspect of it might be monitored. Well, that's right. And people are really passionate about protecting privacy with Bitcoin. But ultimately, I see the settlement uh, with Binance as ultimately positive for Bitcoin. And I think it's actually a sign that the U.S. is preparing the marketplace for a spot Bitcoin ETF. I really do, because this is the world's largest exchange. At one point, facilitated half of Bitcoin's spot trading volume. Years ago, it was actually 80 percent. Now that's coming down to 32 percent. So we're seeing more of a decentralization. And uh, under this settlement, they have to undergo strict monitorship overseen by uh, FinCEN. So if the SEC wants to make sure there's no market manipulation to, to approve that ETF, this is a big way to do that. So I think the CZs of the world are being brought into compliance or being evicted, and he had to bend the, the knee or, or lose his billions. And we obviously saw um, what he did. But ultimately, I think this is going to draw, again, more clarity that Bitcoin continues to be the asset that has the least uncertainty surrounding it. It's becoming clear that the other tokens are different. And we're shifting from an environment of of casinos to compliance mm. and from the crypto frat bros and the wild, wild west to institutional boardrooms and massive corporations deciding to put Bitcoin on the balance sheet. So I think it's a sign that the industry is maturing, but we absolutely have to be worried about privacy and making sure to ensure privacy and code is free speech. I think you're right. I think this was an inflection point, Natalie. So we'll see where we go from here. But uh, it appears that Bitcoin um, and other crypto for the moment at the time being is here to stay. So we'll continue to watch it and have you back. Thank you. Thanks for having me.